COVID-19 has affected everyone at different scales. Businesses and industries, as well as livelihoods, are taking a new form. Today, we take a look at how foreigners in Nigeria are coping with this reality and to make sense of it. I'm joined by Her Excellency Manga Bissem Elizabeth, Consul General, Republic of Cameroon Consulate in Lagos. Thank you for joining us on the news. Do we have you, ma'am? Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Amake, for having me. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How has it been for you and Cameroonians in Nigeria during this pandemic? Uh, Amaka, it's, this is a global pandemic, and uh, Cameroonians, as well as Nigerians and uh, all foreigners living in Nigeria, have been hit equally. So um, they are going through the same struggles, they are going through the same things, they are going through the same uh, quarantine measures. And um, I would say what has been very significant for me here has been Cameroonians who, for example, travel to come into Nigeria for some business or for or some trip, and they were caught up in this, uh, in this uh, pandemic by the closure of borders, and they cannot return. So those are the urgent cases which we had to deal with, actually. Um, for the rest of the Cameroonians who are living here, they have been, it's a constant struggle like every other Nigerians, Nigerian, and um, they are following the measures that have been put in place by be it the Lagos state government, be it the federal government, and they are following quarantine measures. I just reach out to them to be more careful, to follow the measures that have been put in place, you know, to try to take up an inventory of those who are here and those who are really hard hit by this pandemic and see how uh, the government can be able to come to whatever measures of assistance they can bring onto them. Um, not only Cameroonians, we know that uh, this has affected businesses and livelihood in yet to even be uncovered ways. How are you helping uh, Cameroonians in Nigeria manage with the reality of this um, shrinking in their sources of livelihood and closing down of their businesses? Thank you, Amaka. That, that is uh, it's, it's, it's some economic measures which you know, they go far, uh, measures that the government can really reach out with regards to Cameroonians that live here in Lagos. But I'll tell you those that we have been able to handle so far. We are trying, like I say, I have an inventory of those who have businesses here and those who are uh, small scale businesses and those who are really hard hit, who, which are, will be treated as urgent cases. But I'll tell you what we have done so far, especially those whom, like I say, came into Nigeria uh, uh, held up by the closure of borders and um, you know the borders were closed since the 17th of March it's like you coming going out to spend one week in a foreign country and then you find out that you are there for two months so what we did and what the government of Cameroon did was to arrange for emergency evacuation uh, 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 measures it's like you know taking people who are blocked here high. We, the consulate went out of its way to we hired a private jet, which uh, uh, lifted people from, from, from Lagos and environs and from Maruja and from Kutunu, which we cover as well, and okay. all through the coast of West Africa. Take um, them I back home. You okay, know, and, uh, just and, and to I'll quickly, you, yes. sorry to interrupt, I'm really sorry, I'm sorry about that. Well, just to wrap up quickly, we're out of time. Uh, Cameroon has also been hit like other countries. Are you impressed uh, with the way the COVID-19 is being managed so far in your country? Uh, like I say, it, this is a pandemic that came and most African countries were not prepared for it. And we are learning from each other. We are learning from the experiences which we have in Nigeria, for example, and we are also, it's a learning process. And what I'm very much impressed with, especially given that this is the African week, the government is privileging also our African measures, our African traditional medicines in the way that we can handle this, vi this virus. Emergency uh, uh, the quarantine measures have been put in place. Testings have been put in place. Wearing of face masks, sensitization has been put in place. So I think it's a gradual process. We are not there yet. We are learning. And it is a gradual process, and I think that we are winning, not 
I can't say we are winning, but we are managing the, the, the pandemic the way it's supposed to be managed. And we can only rely by the superior powers that be to, by the grace of God and by African traditional medicines to help us in able to, to win this war. All right. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. You're very welcome, Mama. You're welcome.